<laughs> hey, you, you think the boy Tiger was talking about y'all city? <laughs> I don't know. There's some hoes out there. So he, <laughs> he might have been. You know. All right. <laughs> Yo, man. Y'all, y'all. Uh, so what y'all got going on, man? We got the Philly Street Talk website going on. Philly Street Talk website. Yeah. Y'all, y'all got a video on Philly Street Talk yeah, website. Yeah, we got the video. We did the uh, the song when they open up. You know, right. that's the. Uh, Philly Streets Talk Anthem. Yep. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. We got the, a, um, you know what? That's a hot video. Who shot the video? My man, uh, Loud DVD. My man. From yeah, he did, a, he did a real good job, man. Yeah, it's a yeah, real he, nice, he clean, from Jersey clear too, video. Man. It's all Jersey and Philly over here. Baby. That's, that's what's what up, man. That's what's trying up. to make that connection. That's what's up, man. Y'all doing some big things, man. That's what's up. Yeah. So, uh, what do you, you, you have a mixtape? The mixtape, first rap on the moon, that's out right on that pit. You can, it's a sponsor mixtape, so you can just download. You don't even need a username. Okay. And, uh, okay. yeah, it got, it got my man Levi, it got Sue Surf from North. He a big battle rap in the URL. Uh, got Creepy on there. Creepy. It got my girl, Miss Jers. That's some creep, creep show. show. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it got my lady, Miss Jers, on so, there. Hold on, hold on, first know. off, hold on, let me ask you something, man. Where you get that name from, Creep Show? I mean, you know that that, that came from from the, from the track, okay, from the streets, you know. Yeah. She was creeping past us. Yeah, just real, <laughs> real, real quiet, man. Just real, real quiet, money. You know what I'm talking about? <laughs> yeah, yeah, I feel you. All right, all right. Now, 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 uh, Alexander Starr, let me ask you this: uh, How'd you how, how'd you come with uh, DJ Allen? Jersey, baby. You know, that's the big homie right there. Okay, okay. Man, that's all. You know, you just. We people connecting all that good stuff. That's my, okay. that's my big home. Okay, that should be home. I feel you. I feel you. Yeah, yeah he, he held me down, you know, in the mixtape. Yeah. You feel me? I now mean, Alamo, he, I mean, he do what he do. You know, I mean, you see, you knew who he was. He got a radio show out there, right? He definitely does. I will be on there too, you know. Okay. But you know, that's a, that's another story. Yeah, 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 yeah. I know how sometimes it's hard to get on major, major radio stations and. Shit. Yeah, I mean, it's all about, you got, we got grind. I can't blame nobody for nothing, you know? We grinding over here. Yeah, yeah, hey, you got to put your grind in, man, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, put in that, that footwork. Is, that's the key right there, you know what I'm saying? Put your grind in and, and, and do, you know what I mean? Do what you need to do. Stay relevant, stay, stay focused, stay seen. Yeah. You got to stay on the scene, you know what I'm saying? Stay focused. Whatever see. some... Dang, he got the shirt on right it, there. Baby. Focus the game, game baby. You know see it, baby. That's the click right there, you know? Right you know, there, you know? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. So uh, let me ask you this: um, What was the first one? Of, what, well, what was one of the first uh, rap records that you heard that made you want to be a rapper? Yo, for real, for real, it was embedded in me. You know, I've been rapping since I can remember, rhyming since I was four. But I'm gonna keep it real. My dad, you know, he was kind of a pervert, so. He put me on Lil' Kim. I mean, probably because the cover. Hardcore, yeah. I ain't going front. You feel me? I'm not, you feel me? Before, I'm my home, I'm, all my family lives in Philly, you know? Right. So, you know, but it was in me, you know? How old so, are you? I'm 20 right now. You're 20? Yeah. Wow. <laughs> you know, I ask, I ask everybody that because, uh, you know, I'm 45. Right? right. And when I was... When I was your age, rap was like, it was just coming, you know, it was new, you know what I'm saying? It was new and, you know, actually, uh, uh, I started, I started like in 76, right. you know what I mean, listening to rap music. And I mean, before it really got famous. It's kind of funny to talk about, even, you know, even before, before they had any rap on the radio, I was involved in it. You know what I'm saying? And now, for it to be as big as it is, right? And and, and you're 20 years old, and, and you know you've been doing this since you was four. You know what I mean? I mean, you know, you. I mean, I'm I'm, I'm, I'm like saying you man, you 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 you've been you've been you've been rapping and you've been in the game since you was four years old, right. some type way or form. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Um, I mean, I think when anybody coming up. Black, white, Hispanic, green, orange, you come up, you wanna rhyme. You rhyme some type of way, you know? Right. right. You rhyme. That's just what you do. Right. You know I mean? And right. some people continue it. You got rap, man. Everybody rap. No matter what you do, you rap. <laughs> you feel me? <laughs> you rock and roll, that's rap right there. You yeah, know? pretty much. You know, if it's rhyming, it's rapping. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? You see, uh uh when I when I was coming up, my mom my mom used to always uh 
<clears throat> coming in my room. My, my, my mom bought me two turntables and a mixer when I was 13. Mm -hmm. You know, and that was like, the, before that, I was DJing before that, but I was always using uh, you know, stuff that we just found and put together, you know. And my mom finally, I, I was asking my mom like for two turntables and a mixer since I was like nine years old. Right. You know, and uh, when I got 13, she felt that I was old enough to be able to take care of the equipment and and you know not tear it up mm -hmm. you know what I mean so um, from then on you know I've been doing this since then you right know what I mean? so that's some time in you know what I'm saying that's some time in I sort of grew up with hip-hop yeah hip-hop man that's you know another hip-hop right wasn't hip-hop hip-hop wasn't like my, 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 my kids grew up in it you know what I mean and I grew up creating it. right you know what I mean so man, we need people like you man I appreciate I'm telling you I appreciate you for everything you did you know right right but uh Busted down doors for people like me, you know? right. people like everybody else. You know? And we we here at 88.1, right? you know, we do this every Tuesday. You know, we showcase uh, uh, local artists. You know, we we, we we try to pull people uh, in off the street and let them see that it's a this is a, a it, it, it could be something you do or you can make it a career. Right. You know what I'm saying? There's a lot of people that just want to rap from the block. Yeah. And it's and it's uh, and some people that want to make it their career, you know. Now the difference between, to me, the difference between uh, somebody that's doing it for the block and somebody that's doing it for, as a career is the work you put in it. You know, what I mean, you gotta put work in it. You gotta be, you gotta be wherever it's popping at. You gotta you gotta go, you, you know, wherever open mics are jumping off, you gotta be there. Right. You know, what I mean, wherever hip hop is 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 popping, you gotta be there. Yeah, you know what I'm right. saying? Now, what are you, um, uh, this is a question for both of y'all, uh, what are y'all doing to be, stay relevant? Well, me, personally, like, <clears throat> creepy. Uh, I'm in the gym, man, you know, mm -hmm. I'm shadow boxing in the dark, you know what I'm saying? I'm networking, right. you know what I'm saying? Some motivated people, mm -hmm. honestly, like, that's first, I mean, I, I run across a lot of different, you know what I mean? But for the most part, like, you know, if, like you said, the work speaks for itself. So, yeah. you know, if I see somebody with really on their gravy trains and I'm on it, like, you know what I mean? Let's get with let's get to it. You feel me? Right. So like I, I just try to stay relevant, you know what I'm saying? Stay on a positive movement, you know, and just network. You know what I mean that, that's the that's the that's the key right there, networking, you know yeah. what I mean? Yeah. And networking with the right people, you know what exactly. I'm saying? Cause there's a lot of shady folks in this industry. Yeah, man. it's crazy. You know what I mean? Right. Now, I, I run across shady folks like all the time. You know, and sometimes, you know, being in my position, I be around a lot of stars. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Like Tommy Davidson. You know, a lot of comedians. I do comedy shows. Okay. You know, and I have, I have, uh, you know, uh, you know, artists open up some of the shows that mm -hmm. we do. You know what I mean? And sometimes you get caught up in who this person is and where he's been and the things that he's done, but. They just people just like us. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. They just got a little bit more fame, a little bit more money than we got. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Um, I come across uh, people who want to use you a lot. People want to use you to to uh, to boost to get their career. Like they'll step on your head to get further. Advancement. You know what I'm saying? Which I understand that. You know what I mean? I understand the game, and I understand I'm where, where, where I'm at right now. I could die tomorrow, and I'm happy. You know what I'm saying? But I'm not going to die tomorrow. You know what I mean? But I want more. Yeah. You know, I want to be at a bigger radio station. I want to be at the Jazzy Jeff level. Yeah. You know what I mean? That, to me, is the ultimate level of DJ. You know what I mean? Because he, he, he gets ten, twenty thousand dollars $20,000 for 15, 20 minutes. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah, he over Europe killing him. Mm -hmm. He's killing him over there. You know what I mean? He travels the globe doing his thing. You know what I mean? And, and he's from here. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? So that's one of my idols, you know what I'm saying? Like who was who who was some of your idols as far as like somebody like uh somebody that you aspire to be like or somebody that laid the blueprint for you. Like well, I said, ahead, but people like you, you know? But Jay Z my favorite rapper. Jeezy? Jay Z. Jay Z. Jay Z. Jay Z, okay. okay. You know, I mean it's a, Philly artists out here, shout out to Gilly. Mm -hmm. Major figures, you know, I was the only, I, I'm from a small town called Woodbine. I Woodbine. was the only, uh, I was the only fifth grader bumping major figures in my town. 
You wow. feel me? Most wanted. I mean, yeah. I could go on forever. I mean, you heard if you listen to the Philly anthem track, you know, you know. Yeah. yeah. I mean, yeah, people like that. People like Gilly, he gave me, I mean, swag. Made me think I'm a king. I'm the king of South Jersey. You feel me? That's, I talk like that because of people like him and Ho. You know, right. they say they the king, you know. Right. I look up to them. Who are, I mean, I can go on for days, though. You know, I'm a, I'm a student of the game. You okay. feel me? So I can go on for days, but I'm going to say Jay-Z and Gilly. Okay, how about you, Creek? I'm going to say, like, you know, from the rip, man, you know, I'm, I'm a little... I mean, I got bro, but like a dime, you feel me? Right. So, you know, I came up off of the BDP, the Boogie Down. Right. Like, that was my first drum, you know what I'm saying? Right. Like, an old head put that in my hand, like, yo, listen to this, young boy, you right. feel me? You know, but like, like, Red Man, you know what I'm saying? Right. I mean, it's whole, I, you know what I'm saying? Whole good money, you know what I mean? Yeah. Like, you know, just, just the lyrical artist. I'm, I'm like a lyrical artist. I ain't with you with the, you know, snap, giggle. Pop, spank, spank a butt type thing, you right, feel me? Right. I mean, I respect the game because, you know, everything changes and we constantly evolve as people, you know what I'm saying? But, you know, I'm from the essence, you know what I mean? Yeah, Basically, right. I, I come right. from the essence and I, that's what I rap like. You know Shout know out mean? to Cassidy, too, man. Yeah, I mean, he, 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 Cass, I, I mean, he, I mean, he the changed game. the game. I mean, yeah. he changed not even Philly. The whole, you ain't really here, he ain't invent punchlines. But you know, he, he changed it for us young folks. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Cassidy problem, you know. Shout out to him. Right. And down yeah, like old school, I mean, I can you put out anything, the best hip hop record, I can go along with that. Shout out to KRS. Mm -hmm. yeah. Big you Daddy. Mentioned, you mentioned KRS one and Randy. I mean, I feel as though the Fuji's that's the uh that's the best hip hop album ever. Yeah, that's one of the greatest. That, yeah, that, that, that how many how many songs. mics can you rip on it there? You know, that's the best hip hop song ever. Shout out to the Lords of the Underground. Yeah, you know, story. I bump I bump these people while I'm on my.